and continue to find. All people, clap your hands, cry to God with shouts of joy. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contract of heart, Lord have mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O oh God, who through the grace of adoption chose us to be children of light, grant we pray that we may not be wrapped in the darkness of error, but always be seen to stand in the bright light of truth. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Amos. Thus says the Lord, on that day, I will raise up the fallen hut of David. I will wall up its breaches, raise up its ruins, and rebuild it as in the days of old, that they may conquer what is left of Edom, and all the nations shall, that shall bear my name. Say I, the Lord, who will do this. Yes, days are coming, says the Lord, when the plowman shall overtake the reaper, and the vintager, him who sows the seed, the juice of grapes shall drip down the mountains, and all the hills shall run with it. I will bring about the restoration of my people Israel. They shall rebuild and inhabit their ruined cities, plant vineyards and drink the wine, set out gardens and eat the fruit. I will plant them upon their own ground. Never again shall they be plucked from the land I have given them. Say I, the Lord, your God. The word of the Lord. Thank you, God. A responsorial song. The Lord speaks of peace to his people. The Lord, the Lord speaks, speaks of peace to his people. I will hear what God proclaims. The Lord, for he proclaims peace to his people. Near indeed is his salvation to those who fear him. Glory dwelling in our land. The Lord, the Lord speaks of peace to his people. Kindness and truth shall meet, justice and peace shall kiss. Truth shall spring out of the earth, and justice shall look down from heaven. The Lord speaks of peace to his people. The Lord himself will give his benefits. Our land shall yield its increase. Justice shall walk before him, and salvation along the way of his steps. The Lord speaks of peace to his people. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. My sheep hear my voice, says the Lord. I know them, and they follow me. Hallelujah, hallelujah. hallelujah. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, Lord. The disciples of John approached Jesus and said, Why do we and the Pharisees fast much, but your disciples do not fast? Jesus answered them, Can the wedding guest mourn as long as the bridegroom is with them? The days will come when the bridegroom is taken away from them, and then they will fast. No one patches an old cloak with a piece of unshrunken cloth, for its fullness pulls away from the cloak and the tear gets worse. Do not put new wine into old wineskins. Otherwise, the skins burst, the wine spills out, and the skins are ruined. Rather, they pour new wine into fresh wineskins, and both are preserved. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. <clears throat> Good 
morning. Good morning. Today, we have that beautiful statement that we have all heard repeatedly and probably have heard someone much more talented and wiser than I speak on, and that is the new wine into new wineskins. And I reflected this morning in my prayer and I said, you know, it's amazing. I can tell when my pants are starting to wear out by looking at them. So I know, okay, it's time to either patch them or get a new pair. I can look and see when my shoes are starting to get uh, holes in the soles. So I can say, all right, time to go get my shoes repaired or get another pair of shoes. We can look at other avenues of our life and say, okay, time to do some preventative maintenance, like changing your air condition filters or your oil for your automobile. We can look at the building and say, aha, I see a crack in the ceiling. It's time to get to work on those things. Now, if we have the ability to look at the items around us and say, it's time to repair or replace, then why are we so blind when it comes to our own relationship with God? That we continue to go along the same course of action with the same old wineskin mentality and relationship with God, whereas God is every day wanting to give us a fresh and new experience of how much he loves us and how we are called to love ourselves and each other and return that love to him. So every day to receive the new wine that God wants to give us this new grace, every day we have to have a new wineskin. And how is that accomplished? Through self-reflective, contemplative prayer through the sacrament of reconciliation, confession. Those are two great avenues to get the new wineskin. God is stirring our hearts every day, stirring within us a new relationship, wanting us to wake up, or as the young people say today, to take the red pill from the matrix fame, to see things differently. But we cannot if we stay stagnant in the same relationship we've had for many years. May God be with you as you take that leap of faith today in your relationship with him, but rest assured, he will sustain you. The Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Coming together as one family in faith, let us offer to God our prayers and our needs. We pray for our Holy Father, for our Archbishop, for all priests, religious brothers, sisters, permanent deacons, and seminarians. We pray to the Lord. Lord we, pray our prayers. we pray for those who are sick or suffering in any way this day. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord we pray our prayers. We pray for the intention for our Mass today, and let it be for our brothers and sisters who watch this Mass on video. Let us pray for them and their needs today. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. Offering all our prayers to the Father, let us conclude by asking the intercession of St. Bridget of Ireland, our patron for our parish, by praying the Glory Be Prayer. Glory, Glory be to the Father, and, and, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, it is now and ever shall be, world without end. Blessed for you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. 
fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands. For the praise of the Lord is His name. For our good and good love the Holy Church. O God, who graciously accomplish the effects of your mysteries, grant, we pray, that the deeds by which we serve you may be worthy of these sacred gifts. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for just as through your beloved Son you created the human race, so also through him with great goodness you formed it anew. And so it is right that all your creatures serve you, all the redeemed praise you, and all your saints with one heart bless you. Therefore, we too extol you with all the angels as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord, God of hosts, heaven, heaven and earth are full, full of your glory. glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the people that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and took willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Thomas, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, 
Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. So we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, power, and glory are yours, and our prayer. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Lay not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all within me, his holy name. Let us pray. May this divine sacrifice we have offered and received fill us with life, O Lord, we pray, so that bound to you in lasting charity we may bear fruit that lasts forever. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.
Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Prayer to St. Michael for our families. Holy Michael, they are coming. Defend us in God. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God be king and come and pray. And to you, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the divine power, thrust us in the hell, Satan, and all the heavenly spirits, who wander through the world, seeking the ruin of the souls. Amen. The divine praises for protection against arms, hurricanes, and other disasters. Blessed be your God. Blessed be his holy name. Blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be his most sacred heart. Blessed be his most precious blood. Blessed be Jesus and most holy sacrament.